someone didn't see me and rode their surfboard into my ear and um oh god it was this the most painful thing ever and so bloody and i almost passed out and probably could have drowned but um i made it to shore and to the hospital for immediate surgery um but i can hear fine now this time around it's like, oh, okay, well, guys, I need to speak up for myself at this point because for the last 10, it's been 10 fucking years yeah. since the last movie. And so over the last 10 years, like, I've stayed active, you You're know? The most and like, one. Yeah, without, like, being a dick, you know? Like, I'm the only guy that fucking has, has been active, you know? Like, I've been, been building momentum, I've been doing my thing. I think that it's safe to say that at this point, I bring more to the table than, than the rest of the guys. That's where I was know? going with it without being offensive, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't think that that's uh, a dickheaded thing to say. It was like, it was an observation. And, and, the, and what's more important for me is that <clears throat> I, I, I didn't want to, like, get in there and be the one like fighting for it. I was like, hey, you know what? Like the last time around I had my lawyer telling me, yo, we've got a counter. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer's like, why do you have this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, because the, the, that last time around I was newly sober. Like, I didn't mm. know if I had it in me. Yeah. You know, I was just like. This uh, was for the movie? But for Jack so wait, S3D. You, you were sober when you did the slingshot? Yeah. Uh -huh. In the, the porter potty, porter potty slingshot. I was completely sober. Yeah. The, you know, one of the highlights I could think of. You know, I actually have a, a painting here. Was was me at the 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 Sunset Marquee Hotel in Hollywood, uh, California, and I laid naked on a bed, and and bam, Villa Vallo from him and Kat Von D from uh, L.A. Inc. They all painted me. Um, you know, so it was really cool to see each different impression by three different people. And I have, um, whose copy do I have here? Bear with me for one second. And uh, I have, this is Bam's version. As you can see, it's me like it, laying naked on the bed in the hotel room with a bottle of, of wine, you know, and there were the other three, two versions are cats and villas. So it's a really cool once you piece them together to see how that looked. Um, was there any stunts that you said fuck that on? Yeah. Um, any, there was one, th one thing that I, I said fuck that on. And it was, they wanted to, to put everyone like in a tent um, that was going to slide down a giant mountain with a big jump at the end of it. And the, it, was, oh, it was a bouncy house. And they'd done like a, a test one on a little hill in Pennsylvania with a little jump, but this was then this was on a big giant mountain and it had a generator in it, which could have like hurt somebody. And anytime you have too many people in one thing, you know, you risk heads bumping each other. And it was down a giant Sierra Nevada's mountain going, then going off a jump with, you know, eight or nine people in it. Bad idea. So I was like, no, this is bad. We're all going to get seriously hurt. And um, I think everyone else pretty much felt the same way before. Sometimes ideas come about and then they progress and they turn into something that, you know, different than it was at the beginning. Or you see it in real life. But normally, no, we never like, like chicken out. But this was just a bad idea. Jackass 4, is it happening? Is it fully happening? Have you guys already filmed a bunch of stuff? We were one week into production oh. when... Uh... When, when shit got shut down. But that's actually a good thing because that week was so fucking explosive that uh, we went from like the, like, should these guys really be doing this? You know, I was just kind of a fucking piss take at this point. They're like, some of them are 50 now. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Like, and in that one week, we proved ourselves. Like, I mean, it was like, it was the, the fucking heaviest week and we got like just this footage where like now Paramount sees it, like they're behind it. Like we're like, they're, you know, when, when the world starts spinning again, we're as big of a priority for Paramount Pictures as uh, as there is from what I gather. Hell yeah. So, yeah the world that, will need laughter cool. at that point yeah, for sure. Listen, that, okay, that puts a smile on my face knowing that it's, it's still gonna happen. The screen door was open because uh, it was summertime out. 
And she's like, we can't watch this movie. I'm like, why? She's like, every time we wa we, I see this, something weird happens. And uh, as soon as it says, I came a long way to see you, my gate opens, beep, 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 beep. And then I see that nobody's there. And I get this strange feeling. I look out to the uh, barn area and I see the see-through person walking back and forth. I'm like, yo, get off my property. I'll come down there. I got a sword. I'll stab you. I get in my car. I run up there. I get in my car because I'm scared. Missy gets in the car. Uh, I floor the car in forward. And then as soon as I get there, I look up and it's a white owl sitting on the corner. And I look at Missy and she just got a white owl tattooed on her arm. I'm like, say hello to your dad. And then she said hello to her dad and the, the owl flew off. Yeah, it was fucking, it was nuts. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, it's April and Phil Margera. Yes, hello, CJ. And uh, thank you for being big fans of Viva La Bam and Jackass. And I know that your friend Clayton um, said you had some questions about like yeah. things that we've done filming. And they're all some questions. They're good questions. Well, I have to tell you that the stunt with the uh, tractor and the hole was was real. Everything that happened on the show was real, and yeah. we were not told. She saved my life. Of anything, oh, it's just these are that diabetic gloves, by the when way. They're, I, not, they're not biker gloves, there, but diabetic. Gloves. When I got home from work that day, the kids actually had sticks across a hole that they thought they were going to put leaves over, and I knew if he fell into a hole, he was going to get stabbed, probably. So she saved my life. So I got a rug, and I mean, like, a lot of times I try to make it safe, because they're going to do it anyway. But do they tell us anything on Jackass or Viva La Bam? Absolutely. Mm -mm. It was not staged. It was what it was. I was just trying not to have a panic attack every single time. For Viva La Bam, it was me, you, and Vito that was left out in the cold. They had their own meetings, and then the whole week we were worried what was going to happen, and we were nervous. Yeah, it was it awful. Was real. A lot of times what they did would they do the bad thing to us first and then we backpedal and just fill in um, dialogue and, you know, well, wait, and conversations. you got to cut that down. The second question was, uh, well, I'll go to the one about What's that. your favorite stunt that Bam did that actually made us laugh? I guess you loved the food fight, didn't you? Was that a stunt at the Vegas hotel? Well. That was a good stunt. I feel like we made that get kind of out of that oh my gosh that room in las vegas that got really destroyed was like eighty thousand dollars let's see damage. you even double like bam it's forty thousand i thought it was this. 80. now they had to read body curtains and they had to lose 15 days of uh, rentals at it was bad. a night so it was 35 45. it was really it was... bad yeah but I, but I mean we had fun but even bam I, I laughed because he looked like he was in shock and anytime he looks like he's in shock makes me laugh the official price was forty thousand dollars though but whatever the elvis question is i liked all 962 of them every time you hear one it fits an occasion so you can't pick one people will say if i could dream which is probably close to number one or suspicious mind that's the best one yeah but see that's what 99 percent of the people say but Get those obscure ones that even the goofy movie songs that they call goofy. They're amazing. They fit every situation of your life. They make you enjoy yourself and they make you happy. And the only concerts we're looking forward to would be him, Elvis, if he came back to life, or CKY. Period. Have a great well, day. Well, we, we went to some FFUs with Bam.